Hello parents, today we are going to talk about the crocodile snap and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get your child an old sock and you're gonna cut a couple holes into it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that with my old sock here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a spot, have your child put their hand in it, and then you're gonna cut a spot out for, without cutting their finger off like I may do right now, you're gonna cut a little spot for their thumb and I just do a little snip on it, a little more to get my, it's kind of hard for me to cut with my left hand here. I'm gonna cut out a little spot for my thumb so my thumb comes out. And then I'm gonna cut a spot out for both my pointer finger and my middle finger. And you could do this with your child. Again, like I said, try not to cut their fingers off. And we are going to give them this is going to be our writing sock. And I would like you to send this sock in when your child returns on January 11th. We can't wait to see them. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna be able to have this sock to help them with coloring while we do the first week. And what we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about the crocodile snap using our thumb and our two fingers to help us. And the sock's purpose is to keep those other fingers out of the way because a lot of the kids are using a full finger grip or they're not holding their fingers correctly. Like Mrs. Mounier told you, we had a uh, meeting with the kindergarten through third grade teachers and a lot of them were complaining about how the children are holding their pencils or their crayons. So we wanna start instilling this uh, a little earlier. Um, I do have some materials to share with you. Exciting, a pencil. And we're gonna talk about how the wood and the paint meet and then I have two different kinds of crowns. I have this uh, larger crown, which is in a tricolor grip, tricolor already, which is supposed to force the children. How, in a triangle crown, is supposed to force the children to use this correct grip or a skinny regular crown. Um, we find that the skinnier crowns actually work better than these crowns. So if you have skinny crowns at home, what you could do is break their crowns so that their crowns are very short or use golf size pencils or even break their pencils and just put tape around the other end to help them uh, when they're writing to write down closer rather than way up high. Um, as they're using their name folders, you could also take tape like duct tape or electrical tape and mark where you want your child to hold their pencil. Okay, so going back to the sock, I, again, I would like you each to have a sock for your child so that when they come back to school, we could use it during, during class. So at home, I would like you to practice with your child writing their name. And what they're, going, what they're going to do is you want them to make sure that they have like an oval space, calling that the, I just call it the open web space for their fingers and then make sure that their hand is snapping for the crocodile snap and I will send a fun song home to help them. And then they're going to place the, the pencil and lay it on their ring finger and bring their pointer finger down to the matching part and that is when they can use it to write their name. Same thing with the crayons. I'm gonna show you with the larger crayon. You wanna have them come for where the paper meets the crayon. Same thing open web space, laying it down, resting it on the middle finger, and having the pointer finger kind of guide where they're writing. And finally, with the skinnier crowns, um, again, have them bring it down. While they're coloring this week, please also try to encourage them to use a little more force when they're coloring, excuse me, when they're coloring, and use their arm to really move because a lot of them kind of sit in one spot and will color in one spot and just focus on one area you want to help them guide their hand up and down or side to side while they color so we're not making scribble marks we want to go either like i said up and down or side to side as they color so that's the crocodile grip and i will send a link home with the song that goes along with it all right, and again, make sure you send your sock, home, sock into school on Monday so that your child will have this as we will be using them every day for at least two weeks while they're doing a coloring page in school. All right, thank you very much.